Yo, so just stay tuned till the very end because we do have some very important news regarding the series, all right? What's going on? Who are you? Uh, Adam, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. So I got them right here. Um, for the, you can just ship it back, so it just makes it easier too. Okay. So just take your time. Sure. And then you yeah. just wanted... Yeah, skip this here. Just the, this part yeah. right? Gotcha. Yeah. It's like, for my girlfriend too, so it's a mid. It makes it easier. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, I got you. Um, so pretty much while he's doing that, we're <laughs> doing a custom for him. He wanted some, he got van mids, and then he said he wanted this this part painted black just because it'll resemble more of the actual bread, right? So for his girl, can't complain. <laughs> doing a little deal, so hopefully, I'm not that artistic, but we'll see. Yeah, thanks right. for trusting you. Yeah. It's all good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Go ahead and check him out. 180? Uh, 180, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you, man. Bye. Alright guys, so since we have some time, it's Monday night, we will be painting this part black for our client. And then hopefully we'll shouldn't take too long. Just a simple little custom, but we'll get to that and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Alright, y'all, we're all done with this one so you can see that it's different that one's red right right here this piece so that one's red this one's black it just looks more like a normal bread colorway rather than like this mid which honestly doesn't look bad i prefer this one they look just like that one <laughs> but yeah so we did that simple custom now we just gotta fix the other shoe lace them up and then ship them out yo what's going on everyone welcome back to another vlog week we do have a lot of things going out the post office was closed because of martin luther king jr day mlk day i mean shout out to that holiday super appreciate it but because of that we have a lot of stuff that got pushed back and we have a lot of orders going out so some i just want to try and hit this quick and let's see all right so this is one of the first pairs that's going out these are the Richard Mulder SB Dunk Highs. I bought these for 65 bucks. I cleaned them up and I sold them for 165 bucks on eBay. Not bad. I bought these for 70 bucks at the thrift store and I sold them for, it was a package deal. These and these for, I think we agreed to like 235 ships. So I'm making like maybe like 50 bucks on this one and like 30 bucks on this one, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted to make for them. I mean, I kind of want a little bit more for these because these are fire, but it's all good. He took both. So we got that going. Uh, we did sell a Kith tee, but it's already wrapped in here, but this is the white one. This is what the other one looks like in black. So it's a sick, simple Kith hoodie, so, or Kith t-shirt. Sold this for 80 bucks shipped, which is honestly, I'm not really making any money on it, but they bricked and it took forever to get to me. So I'm glad that I'm getting my money back. So. Uh, and then in this package, we have a pair of Jordan 4s from a trade that I did that I said in the last video. So those are just going out because they didn't make it over the weekend. Let's see. This is a pair of the customs that I'm sending out. So as you guys see, now that it's all like dry, because in the videos that I was showing before, like it might've looked a little bit more shiny, but as you see it, it looks very natural, almost like it came like that. So uh, did these. I think he paid me about 25 bucks for the work. It took me about an hour to do. So if you do the math, that's like $25 an hour. And then he paid for the shipping label for that one. And then over here, we got a lot more shoes going out. So over here, we have the Fire Denim 3s. These sold on eBay for $225 shipped. I paid $170 for them. So I'm making maybe, what, like 50 bucks, 40 bucks on this. Not bad. I sold these also. Uh, I actually sold two pairs. These all sold fast. Like I, I sold three Sakai's. So one's a nine and a half, one's a 10 and a half, and one is a nine and a half. So these ones pretty much sold for a hundred dollars um, profit. 
these ones sold for like, I think it was like 200 something profit because I got these for retail. These sold for also like, I think it was like 60, $70 profit. But uh, yeah, all those hype shoes. I sold a super random shoe. I bought this a long time ago at a garage sale. I bought like four pairs for like 20 bucks. So uh, if you don't know, if you want some some shoe game knowledge, Johnson and Murphy grown up shoe game. These are super comfortable. They're dress shoes that are actually made to feel more athletic fitting. So this is a cool brand. Sold them for 35 shipped, not making a lot, maybe like $15. And then lastly, we sold a pair of the Air Max Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Force One. So these are 12 and a half. I just picked these up and they sold on GOAT. So I traded these pretty much straight up for a pair of Shadows. Shadow 12s that I was selling for about 330 and we traded straight up and then I sold these on GOAT for like four something. So I'm getting about 370 back. So I'm still making about an extra 40 on top of whatever I sold the shadows for. So anyways, all of that to be said, they are all gonna get packed up, shipped out, and then we gotta just hurry up and kind of get them all out of here because I gotta go back to work. So uh, let's just see whatever happens next. Hey guys, we got one package in from Soul Advantage. They always... They're all wrapped nicely. But we do have a nine and a half in these bolts. So we picked up two pairs from him. There's one. And we got the size nine. Also, another dead stock pair right there. Cover that up. All right, so send me 225. You wanted the nine or nine and a half? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Go check them out. See what you. Have you seen them in person yet or no? Nah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> Let the people see. I'll hold it so it doesn't fly away. Damn, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, like this material was like interesting. It's like foam, but yeah, like. Yeah, exposed foam. I was yeah. looking into that, yeah. But it, 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 I thought it was going to be way more soft, but not. It's, it's it's, pretty, yeah, it's got stiff. like an interesting texture to it for yeah. sure. But I think they're a dope shoe, honestly. Yeah, I think they look better laced up too, because I think the laces are like low key. Like so? Yeah. So cool. Yeah, these are pretty dope. Yeah. Telling people to stock up on them, so yeah, we'll nah, see if I'm right cool. or not. <laughs> nah, yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, super clean. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm surprised it didn't come with other laces though. It would have been cool if they included the Volt laces on there too. But. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's going on everyone? It is, what is today now? Like Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, I guess. So we have, uh, we have one pair going out, only one, but we did sell a dead stock pair of bread fours. So these were on consignment, meaning someone that I know, uh, his name is Rob. He wanted to, uh, he wanted to sell these to me, but I told him like, Hey bro, I just don't have enough money right now and uh, i couldn't buy them from him so but i was like yo i could sell these for you and i could take like a a cut so these sold for 465 shipped we're sending them off to ebay to get authenticated and then they will be off to the buyer so with that deal i'm only making ma anywhere between 10 to 15 percent i have to talk to him about what he wants and what he was expecting for a payout yeah so that's pretty much it and then we did just get like a bunch of essential items so we got hoodies on hoodies on hoodies on hoodies so we gotta those aren't doing super well even though i thought they do a lot better because they are the knit hoodies but with any essential item they do go up over time so i'm in no rush to sell them but it, i do have a bunch of them for sale so all right y'all so i am in the car i just picked up this package this is actually a return from a customer from amazon or amazon from ebay so i sold a pair of shoes on ebay they said they didn't like the shoe because there was some like creases on it which yeah it's true there are creases on it so i just want to kind of show you guys what this process looks like and why i accept returns because you know most people are like don't accept returns because then people are going to scam you so this is what it is infrared air max 90s and it looks like that's what we still got here and that's exactly what 
came back in. So there's still dead stock and that's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and refund him. But the, the reason of the return is because there's like, there's like a crease right there in the toe box, which I can't control that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I like, I can't control that kind of stuff. That's just the structure and the quality of the shoe. I mean, it has it in this one too, um, right here on the side too. So, I mean, it's a bummer. The way I responded to this, because I, like, obviously he's, that's what he told me. And there's, there's a lot of different things I could have done, right? Like I could have told him, Hey, no returns. Or I could have told him like, well, I can't tell him that cause I have it set up for free returns anyways. So, um, but the reason why I do returns is because say I didn't do returns and he wanted to return this product. I, if I told him no, he'd be very upset and would probably file a claim with eBay anyways. And I'd probably have to accept the return regardless. And then he'd probably leave me bad feedback and all this stuff, like saying I sold him a product that he didn't know about. And there's nothing wrong with that guy, you know? Like, I don't blame him for wanting to return the shoes. It is, like, for me, I'm super picky when it comes to shoes. He wanted the return and I, I, I offered, first I said I'm super sorry, like, that he wasn't happy with the shoes. Um, even though I feel like it's not a big deal, I still had to tell him, like, you know, you have to be professional in these situations. If you want to take over and build a business, you have to be professional. If you're not professional, like, you're gonna get bad reviews, you're gonna get people upset with you, you're gonna get people who don't wanna return uh, as a customer. So I told him, hey, I'm super sorry. Um, you know, feel free to return it. We'll give you a full refund back as long as it's, you know, comes in the same way that it was shipped out. Like, cause if he wore them, like I'm not gonna give him a full refund, right? So uh, I told him as long as they come back and the return, we'll give you a full refund, no worries about it. Or if you want a partial refund, we can, offer you a partial refund if you're interested he said no thanks you know he seemed pretty abrupt like he was very upset with me but it is what it is i just was like okay fine like you know just i didn't say okay fine but i just said okay no worries we'll definitely take care of it for you just ship them out and we'll you know handle the situation so that's pretty much what's going to happen i just need to refund him now but um you know especially for you guys who are starting if you do get a refund or something like this happens like I highly encourage you to take this to the professional level of being like, Hey, I'm a business now. This is how I need to respond to people because a negative review as you're growing can really hurt you guys a lot. And it just sucks. It sucks that some people are just out there and they're just negative people in general. And uh, while you're trying to grow your business, but it's just important that you always give customer satisfaction, customer service, always a plus a one, whatever you want to call it always be very, very good in your customer service because that's what's gonna help your business grow in the long run because you can try and just do quick flips and you know don't really care about the relationships that you're building, but you're running the risk of getting bad reviews, getting bad feedback and all that stuff. So we've seen some people who you know own shops, who own stores that they're bad at customer service and it shows. Like there's still people who mess with them and wanna buy from them, but like their business could be a lot bigger if they just put in a little bit more effort or time into to the relationships that you're building. So all that to be said, returns suck. I mean, I have to eat the cost of return shipping and all that stuff because it's from eBay, but you know, regardless, uh, at least I got the shoes back and they're real and I'm avoiding negative feedback from this guy. So with all that being said, just that's my little encouragement and a little tip of advice for you guys who are getting into reselling, who are making your own businesses. It's literally all about having A1 service because it's so easy for me to be like, bro, like you're tripping or like, bro, like why would you want to, like you're costing me money or be like, bro, like you need to pay for the shipping because like that's your problem, not mine. Like there's a lot of ways you could approach it and it's not gonna be healthy um, for the relationship. So just, just one tip, all right guys? What's going on? It is Friday. I am wearing my favorite Now Essentials knitted hoodie in black. I do have a bunch that I'm going to list for sale, but I'm just kind of waiting for the prices to kind of, you know, go back up a little bit just because if I sell them now, I'm making like 20 bucks a hoodie and it's just not worth it to me. Anyways, we do have a couple of things going out. So one of the first things is going to be this pair of Crocs that I got in a mystery box. The uh, tab was broken over here, so I sold them for $120 shipped uh so i'm only getting a little bit you know so uh this is the jordan 6 alternate so i sold these for honestly i think it was a steal i sold them for 105 dollars they are used but still for jordan 105 dollars shipped that's a steal bro 
Uh, I got these in the mystery box, so this is all profit now. So 100 bucks back to me. Now, the other two pairs I sold is a pair of Jordan 4 Tour Yellows. And I bought these at a thrift store for 70 bucks. 70 bucks and they're, you know, they're not in bad shape. They're a little beat, but I sold these for, I think, $185 ship. So I'm making about $100 off of this one pair, which is pretty cool. And it's missing the Jordan patch. There's normally a Jordan patch that goes right here. And then I also sold these size 9 Jordan 1 Light Smoke Grays. These sold for... I think I sold them for 285 shipped and I bought these for 180. So uh these and these I only had these for like a week, so I made a hundred bucks on this one, so that's not bad. So I made two hundred bucks right here. This is all profit three hundred bucks, and this was a mystery box, so definitely not a bad little shipment going now. So we're gonna go ahead and get those out. We're gonna go do a deal also. You said there's a watermark on one it's, of these ones? It's very small. It's right here. Oh, okay. I got you. Alright. These joints. It's cold, huh? Yeah, it's like weirdly chilly, bro. Are these and then this is a different shoe, right? Yeah. Those come in a box. These are oh, the platinum. They have a 
They have a yellow mark on one of the outside so Yeah, right, right there. there. Gotcha. Uh, shoot. Alright. Uh, so we said 120 on these, right? Yeah. So I'm cool with that. Um, and then you said 120 on these, right? Yeah. Uh, are you cool with 100 for these? Um, yeah, 110 is cool. All right, that's fine. Size nine and a half, right? Uh, these ones I'll probably hold off on just because of the, the heel drag right there. But, and then how much did you want for these? Um, I was kind of trying to do like a, like a bundle deal to get rid of both of them if you wanted to. I just throw that in there. Uh huh. Where were you at for him? Um, I'm not sure. I was just gonna see what you wanted to offer for these ones. For sure. Let me let me see really quick. Got All right, man. You can go ahead and count that. Got so good. Cool, man. So we got one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair. Cool, man. Appreciate the deal. Yeah. All right, y'all. So this is what we bought today. A couple shoes. We got two undefeated Air Max Olive 97s from Undefeated. So we picked up like four deadstock pairs, and then we just picked up a couple new pair or used pairs, along with uh, this random pair of Beater 12s. So not bad. We got a lot of steals. All the DS pairs were probably around forty to sixty dollars under market value. So that's good. And then all the used shoes, we got them for usually what I want to pay. So like Fire Red 5s, they were worn a few times. I paid $120 for them. That's usually what I pay to sell them for about $160, $170. Um, so that's kind of what it is. And then we got one package in here from my friend Daniel. And he gave us a pair. He gave us some bricks, all right? This, this is what we call a brick deal. So he sent me a bunch of... He sent me two bricks and I paid him the cost of this. So we got one pair of these olives in a size nine. I'll probably be in like selling these for retail, no tax. Honestly, this shoe is super fire. It just sucks that the market's going down because it should not be. These are fire people, fire, all right? And then he also sent me, oh, this is dead stock by the way, dead stock. And then this is another brick he sent me. Uh, this bubble wrap just get these out of the box another brick he sent me right here another pair of fire red fives also worn but not too bad oh i just dropped the just dropped that thing whoops anyways uh we do have these i paid him i think i paid him 120 for these also like i said that's what i pay for these so 120 and I forget what I gave him for these. I forget, but I know I got him for a good deal. So thanks, Daniel, for the deal. And that's pretty much what happened. There was a lot more that happened today than I thought. Uh, and then I also sold two essential hoodies that I didn't put. I just don't feel like that's worth the content. You tell me, do you guys want to see me still make those deals? I don't know. All right. So that's it for today. We'll see what Saturday has in store for us. I'm hoping we can pick up some more pairs and we'll see... See y'all on Saturday. Are you okay that hard and sore, no? Oh, no. Oh, I was just posted up there for like oh, two okay. days. Like, hey, Chris, let me check it out. <laughs> yeah, man. Why are, you, are you posted up there a lot? Or? I just went that all day and I seen you with all your shoes up there. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? Shout out Sneak City, man. <laughs> hey, address store? Sneak City or? Sneak Peek. Sneak Peek. <laughs> all good, bro. Uh, not too bad. Yeah, I'm good for this one, bro. Yeah. You just only see you're selling? Uh, I got some easy shit. Uh, nobody's gonna buy them. Anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. That's a lot of ease. I like that for a steal. Check, 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 check. 
だと運送時なんですね。I think I got him a while ago, but he never won, so I just bought him from here or from her for like two hundred. I'm trying to make my money back. Okay. So that's what you wanted, 200 for him? Uh, I was looking for like maybe 240. I know it's going for like 300 right now. Maybe like 240. Really? A little bit, huh? But like that's pretty much it. Yeah. Like if these are fake, like they're like really good fake. Good fake huh? Yeah, but I really doubt they're fake. Yeah. But I did seem kind of skeptical because the material, I even went down to a hard and soft to feel their easy. So yeah. Like, all right, these still kind of like, like, I don't know. Yeah, if anything, like these would probably be like, I mean, for me, they'd be like the best easy I've ever seen. That are, that would be fake. If they are fake, I don't know. Yeah. For sure, you're gonna pass them? Oh, maybe? I remember you came in with those, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> and then he was like, where'd you get those? Yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna copy these. Sure. Yeah. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, got some. Room. In a half. Gosh. Yeah, they're not too warm. They're not too yeah, they see like one good clean. Yeah. I saw them on top yet, and I was like, when did these go up like that? So I decided to sell them. Yeah, they're sleepers for sure. Yeah, I didn't know they were going up like that, but in the 300s, I was like, what the hell? Get like this. Hey man, nobody did. <laughs> Everyone was making fun of him at first, and now This one was probably like the best one that came out. Like, there's yeah. other ones that are like, I don't know, they're iffy, huh? Yeah. Like, there's ones that look like Chicago's. Those ones oh, are like, yeah. the, like the, 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 190, 200. The band red ones. Have you seen those ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah those I don't know oh, nice. That. Yeah. All right. You can go ahead. You don't want to count it? Go oh, ahead. Okay. Man. Make sure. Okay. I'm 50. Yep, yeah, cool, man. Appreciate right, you. Enjoy. I like the case too. Thanks, bro. Guys, we're at the Goodwill. 15 bucks. Some Air Monarchs. Low key, super comfy. But I found these. I saw them peeking right here. Jeez, bro. These things are freaking cooked. Look at that toe. It's talking. Talking. Talk to me. Alright guys, we gotta leave them. Oh here, let me take that That was from our uh, two kicks right there. Oh, oh you got some? Yeah, I got a pair. I just bought another pair from someone else that had a two kick like uh, card on it. Oh that's like oh that's super random. Yeah. Uh, that's cool man, thank you for putting me on. Yeah, of course. They like I don't know if you want to try our service. What are your thoughts on it? I mean, they seem legit. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 65. How many do you think you get these for? Uh, 245 altogether. so we do have a few packages in we did a bunch of deals today so hopefully you guys enjoyed that but we have uh, a couple packages so this is pretty much gonna close off this week gua deal so we do have this jordan box and in here is oh nice little poster right here it's kind of cool got this casing if you guys know what that case is that means we do have a pair of jordan 11 breads now this is from 2012 and we agreed on a price of 240 for these which i the, i just sold a pair in a size 12 that had scuffs and scratches and creases and all that stuff for about 220 so 
these as you see are super super clean now there's like little tiny smudges which i might be able to wipe off hopefully they're not scratches but we have all of this so pretty much the only flaw is like some creasing which is super super normal especially with this patent leather but yeah uh, paid 240 hoping to sell these for about 280 to 300 because these are super clean, but you can buy a dead stock pair of the newer versions for about 350 So I thought, you know, 300 sounds like a pretty good price for these, especially when they come with the box and the sleeve. And some people like the lower cut patent leather. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but, um, you know, people, people will make their choices, their preferences. I don't know. So that's one deal right there, which honestly the box is just a little too big because, let's see here. All right, so we have some bubble wrap and we have a t-shirt. I love seek, see, I don't know. I did not purchase the shirt, don't worry about it. I think they used it as stuffing another shirt which this looks just like a, a used shirt. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know I was getting some clothing today, but we have two shoes right here. And this is a size six and a half wide. I believe the other pair is also the same size. Yes, yeah, six and a half wide. So in here we have the same exact shoe, same exact size. We have a pair of these Midnight Navy ones. So in the grade school size, these are doing pretty good in numbers. I think we agreed to about 260 each, and I believe that they're going for about like almost 300-ish. So, but that wasn't just the deal. So first we agreed to 260 each, and then he said he wanted to trade for, he wanted to trade for these Yeezys, the black and red, the regular bread. So these are a dead stock pair. So. I owed him 520 for both of those shoes, but then I was charging, I think 380 or 390 or something for this one. So I owe him a little bit on top of that deal. So, you know, not bad. These are going to continue to go up in price. It's crazy that these are already at 300. This was definitely a sleeper pair. That's what I'm telling you guys. You guys got to stock up sometimes on the grade school sizes because they creep up in price without knowing. Obviously it has to be a good size for women. This is a great colorway for men and women. So we do have this one. Now I got this from my Discord group. Someone was selling these and I was like, yo, let's work out this deal. So as you see, it's just Jordan boxes on Jordan boxes, but we did buy a couple pairs of these guys. So this is the Volt colorway. So I bought various sizes i bought five pairs of these and i've paid i paid the guy about 200 dollars each plus the shipping label so i'm in these for about a thousand and like twenty dollars so not too bad i think and these have already gone up in price these are already hitting like 220 so they went up like 15 20 dollars since i've purchased these so that's you know not too bad they're hitting you know they're around like 210 whatever maybe they went up 10 bucks so we did buy five pairs they're all men's sizes sadly i was hoping for more grade school but yeah like we got a nine i'm pretty sure we have some other other sizes eight and a half good size right there you know things that are closer to like seven seven and a half is also good because sometimes females have bigger feet and they need to fit into a men's size seven seven and a half eight so you know what it is we have a bunch of pairs and it's kind of crazy that i'm able to buy so much right now and i'm still buying because as you guys saw i cashed out a lot over this weekend that's pretty much it for us so i appreciate you guys thank you for all the love support even when i'm meeting up with you guys thank you for doing deals with me for allowing me to record you guys and doing all that stuff because i just want to bring you guys some good genuine content of what it's like to be a reseller and so make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes we've got some fire stuff coming for you guys make sure to leave a like because recording all of this does take a lot of time so please a like just goes all the distance and if you ever want to comment let me know i try to respond to you guys in the comments and i mean of course as always if you want to share the content feel free to right
Yo, what's going on? So like I said, we do have an announcement. Thank you guys for watching throughout the entire video, but here we do have some good news and we have some bad news. So I don't know which one you want first, but I always like to go with the bad news first. So the bad news is that this series is coming to an end. Oh, I know it's really sad and we've enjoyed the journey of what it's been like the day in the life of a reseller but it just kind of has to come to an end because there's a couple things going and moving so sadly it's going to be the end but uh the good news is that we're opening up a store